Hey guys, thanks for checking out another video with Angel and I. We have something really cool to show you today. Um, it's, we have what's called a hunk of zeolite. Okay, what a hunk of zeolite is, is, is really in, in the most layman terms, it's a big chunk of rock. Which essentially, if you back it up even further, is lava. So really, it's a lava rock. Um, back a million plus whatever years ago in northeast Minnesota, where I'm at here on the edge of Lake Superior, um, lava was coming up, flowing up, um, and that was called the basalt. So as you are maybe in Duluth, Minnesota, or going along the north uh, shore of Lake Superior, you'll see all these big rocks that are jetting out. That's all, all lava beds is really what that is. So what would happen back then as the lava was coming up and starting to cool, inside of the lava were actually pockets of gas. Okay, different gases. Um, so what would happen is, is over the years, cracks would start to form, that gas would slowly get released, and it would fill in with miner uh, minerals and, and silica. So I think of silica like silica sand. So that would harden over uh, the million of years or whatever it took to form those agates in those pockets. Now, so all these agates are stuck in all this lava all over Minnesota. So in order for those to get released is, is that's when the glaciers came through and just kind of tore into to, uh, Lake Superior area, Minnesota, and broke up all that basalt or all that, all those chunks of lava and essentially ripped out the agates. So even since I was a little kid, I mean, we've been searching and hunting for agates. It's a hobby. I don't, I don't even know how many people I know that they have agates in their fish tank. Some people have five gallon buckets of agates because some of them can be really valuable and that might be what we have here. Okay, so what we have here, the basalt um, is a zeolite, which has some more of the unique type of agates in uh, Minnesota. Um, again, we're gonna break that open, so stick around till the end. At the end too, we're gonna do a photo gallery. These can be kind of hard for us to shoot some of these. Um, get a nice close up of, of the um, different different um, agates with the, cam with the video camera. So we'll get the regular camera out and I'll have Angel take some pictures. So if this is the type of content you like, hit subscribe, bottom right, it really does help. Um, hit, hit us up on Facebook too, uh, Flatlanders Go. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and get set up and let's crack this thing open and see what we can find. if we can get this big hunk of zeolite broke open it reminds me too when I was uh, a kid my grandparents owned 160 acres on the uh, Mississippi River my grandpa was a part-time more of a hobby farmer and he had a, just a whole coffee can full of Indian arrowheads but the coolest thing he had of the, all of his years farming on, I mean it was right along the Mississippi he had this one rock it was about that big around about the size of a paper plate and right in the middle of it was like a perfect footprint. It was almost like the print of like a giant duck or a, a giant goose, except it had claws on it. So it was really cool, really cool fossil. So I'm not, not sure what ever happened to that, but. All right, so let's see if we can get this thing open here. I'm putting it on a piece of tarp, more to protect the floor than anything else, but. Let's see if we can find a natural type of curve here, or a natural crack. Let's see if we can't get this open. I'm just using a regular masonry bit here, um, but nice and slow wins the race here. Just kind of following the fault line in the rock. There we go, we got a nice crack started. Yeah, let's see, Angel, do you want to grab that water bottle? Yeah. See what we got, here we go, Christmas. Can't look. Here, let me have that. All 
All right, so here's what we have. Let's spray it down. You can hear the cat belly aching. Okay, so I do see a big hunk of agate right there. Hopefully you can see that. So that's pretty cool. And they pretty much say you can't get these out, so it's not like we're gonna be pulling out a cool agate or anything. But let me see if I can hold this up. Again, we'll get some better pictures of it here too to show at the end. But I'm gonna keep going. Let's see what else we got in here. So again, we're gonna see if we can find a, oh yeah, see, look in here. That's pretty cool. Get it wet, it stands out so much better when it's wet. Oh yeah. So a lot of minerals here. That's cool. So this is just really crumbling apart. It's by no stretch of the imagination hard to get open. Here we go. So there's a whole vein. It's just really like quartz to describe it. It's a really white, orangish, pink quartz is what I'm seeing here. Yeah, you can even see the vein of quartz in this piece. But we're going to keep going. Should we keep breaking it open? Where's that eye? That? Oh, that eye is right here. Um, right there. Oh, okay. So that's that so eye. split that part, but we want to get close, probably. But not okay. into it. Actually. So maybe it's right there. I'll, I'll start hitting over here. finding are just small little veins of the Thompsonite or zeolite. All right, so we got a piece here. I'm going to kind of work on this piece a little bit if I can. Let's see if I can get some good lighting here. So it looks like quartz in there. You can't tell exactly, but... I'm going to go ahead, I, I stopped at Menards too and actually got some uh, Dremel attachments. I thought that would be kind of fun, you know, it would be, be something new, something to try. Um, but they are actually diamond cutting wheels, which you pretty much have to have with this. And the other thing I have here too is the N95 mask. I um, did my research online and that's what you need when you're getting into the dust on on these rocks like this so yeah kind of safety and of course the the safety glasses but yeah so this is more of an experiment more than anything i'm not a rock hound so i just thought it'd be kind of fun to dig into this rock a little bit more and and see what's what's inside of it and i'm going to keep water on this too that'll help keep the dust down plus it's a lot easier to see anything interesting about this rock I want to get into. I mean, that's pretty cool. 
cool in here. Let's see if we can break this apart again. Well, try the big dog. I'm gonna give this one a whirl here, but I'm gonna do it on the concrete floor. Getting in there a little bit better. Alright, so I'm going to give this one a whirl first. Um, this is a diamond cutting wheel. Got it at Menards. I got the whole pack for, I think, I don't know, six or seven bucks or something for my Dremel. So I figured we'd give that one a whirl first, see how that works out. And this big one doesn't fit. My model 395 Dremel. Small one does though. Bummer. But I wonder. Let's give this a try. Why won't this work? Oops. So why won't this work, right? Well, definitely makes a cut. Okay, but it's definitely going to be getting hot too. So that might be a good way to start a cut line more than anything. So, it does help to get a nice groove started. If I can't, you can't find any natural cracks. So what I'm doing is seeing if we can get that hunk out right there. At least make it a little bit more manageable. Whether we get anything cool out of it or not, who knows? Probably not. But you know what? It's cold out. It's gray out. It's that time of year, we call it gray days here. It's that time of year where there's just not a whole lot to do outside. So find stuff like this to keep you busy. bit better here to manage getting it down there let's see what we got we no power rig well we're making quite the mess here so Take a second and get it a little bit more manageable. OK, 
Okay, so it looks like what I'm seeing here, I don't know what that is. Is that quartz? Or is that some sort of an agate? Maybe somebody out there knows better than what I know, but it goes all the way through here. So just for fun, I'm going to see if I can shave a little bit more off of that. So I got these little guys here I want to try too. Diamond wheels for my Dremel. They were so cheap. I was at Menards today and I was like, you know, for three or four bucks, whatever it was, I thought, you know what the heck, let's give it a try. Just to see. It's half the fun is learning, isn't it? In my experience with these little discs like this, I mean, there's no better time than to wear safety glasses than like right now. These things shatter all the time. And you get a million of these little pieces coming at your face. At about 5,000 RPMs. So what we're learning here is that it certainly can be done. You can cut through that piece. It takes a long time. Um, definitely not efficient if you're uh, going to be doing a bunch of these or anything big. So maybe the application for this Dremel would be if it's a small rock, cutting it in half if you don't have a wet tile saw or need to manage the cut a little better. So it is. it definitely works. It's just not not fast for this size. So I got this groove in here pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and throw a chisel to it and see if I shatter it or see if we can break it off. Okay. So it looks like we kind of shattered it up here. Alright, so that's about the best I have for you on that rock. It seems like every time I break a piece open and, and look inside of it, really, it's just a, a line of quartz or maybe an agate material. Maybe somebody knows more about this stuff than I do. Um, make a comment. Tell me what you think that is. Um, but again, it's just, you know, gives a guy something fun to do. Next time I see one of these on the shore, I'll know right what's inside of it, right what to look for. So um, we went out again yesterday and we found you know every once in a while you you come across that that spot where there's just agates everywhere you walk away with your pockets full in 20 minutes and it's just like where, where has the spot been kind of like fishing you know it's the spot on the spot you find once in a while we found that spot yesterday but for sea glass we literally were we were in one spot for 20 minutes we must have found 30 pieces 40 pieces of sea glass so most i've ever found definitely in one out and usually we're lucky to come back with a couple so we'll show that we'll show that off to you here in another video coming up we still have a rock tumbler um to get going so we got to get that full of some rocks um so we'll be doing some videos on that um yeah so hit subscribe on the bottom uh right there and we'll keep pumping these things out and we'll see you on the next one